You're on the internet scrolling around when you come across a website like this and you wonder, how hard would it be to make this? Well, you've got these 3D elements and the animation and on top of it all, you don't know how to code. But you see, these websites, they're getting awards. They're getting clients. So you decide to give it a shot. Well, I'm gonna give it a shot. I actually have zero experience when it comes to anything 3D, but we're gonna be creating these 3D elements for free and then throwing them onto a website with zero code. So let's get into it. Okay, so here's the plan. Last video I did, I made a gamification system, which was pretty cool. So you should go check that out if you haven't seen it. But I also needed a logo that I made for it. And this logo has been growing on me ever since. So what I want to do is I want to take that logo and turn it into a 3D animated website. More or less, I want to try and emulate this website where we have the logo in the center spinning around and then the reel of text that moves along underneath it. We might add other features too, like some text, but this will be the main component that we focus on. The fantastic thing about having 3D on your website is people are so enamored by it, you don't need to do that much designing. So without further ado, let's start making this 3D logo. As you may have already guessed, we are gonna be using Spline for a part of this. You've probably already heard of them, but if you haven't, they're an in-browser 3D tool that UI looks a lot like Figma, actually. Let's check it out. So here we are in a template that I just picked out real quick, and you can see the UI actually looks fairly similar to Figma's, and this makes it pretty intuitive to use. Now, if we go back to the iridescent AI, we see that this needs to be a video that we export. The issue is that Spline only lets you export this on paid plans. I'll show you how to do it on Spline if you wanna use them, but I'll show you another tool as well called Blender to actually do it entirely for free. Blender is the industry standard for 3D modeling and animation, but with that comes a lot more complexity. So we'll take a stab at making it in both tools and you can see which one you like more. So having never done any 3D modeling before, this turned out a lot better than I anticipated. Now the process in Blender and Spline is pretty straightforward. We took our SVG file that we made in Figma, imported it, and then we can extrude it out, add the cameras, lights, effects, all that good stuff, and then export it. Now, same idea here, but it took me a little bit longer to figure everything out. I cut out a lot of the learning process, but there was a lot of YouTube videos that I had to watch to figure this out. With that said, the end result, I will say, is a lot nicer. I got some nice materials going here, so let's check that out and see how it went. Okay, so this is everything that we have in Spline right now. It came together pretty quickly. If we click on this, we can check out the actual animation and it looks exactly how it's supposed to. If we hop into Blender, you can see that I actually went to a lot of trouble trying to create this metallic feel. We ended up in this panel and it, I don't know what's happening here, but I just followed a tutorial to make this happen. Let's take a look at the final render so you can get an appreciation for it. And then we're gonna jump into Figma and actually start making this website. Okay, so I will admit, I got a little carried away. Originally, it was just supposed to be this section up here, but then I thought, screw it, let's make another section. So we got this down here and this gem came together way better than I thought it would. So let me show you it. And then we're gonna jump into Wix Studio to make the final product. And this is what we ended up with. I'm really happy with how it turned out. There are some dark spots as the logo is rotating that I'd probably go back and adjust the lighting on, but for having done zero 3D design before, this came together really well. If we scroll down, we can see the gem in its full glory. And while it did take me a couple hours to make both of these 3D assets, I would say that learning it was totally worth it. So if you do have a couple hours here and there, I would recommend it to level up your skill set and maybe offer your client something new. And that is everything that I have for you guys today. Like always, you can get my Blender files and Figma files from the first link in the description down below. Feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.